Hi guys, welcome to this FS code. <laughs> On this FS code, I want to take a look at um, the 2018 prophecy of um, a pastor, a white pastor, that um, said that Bushiri was going to lose his daughter. And um, he made his prophecy in 2018. Bushiri did not heed to his warnings. Today I'm making this video to speak to Shepherd and Mary Bushiri. MECG Church in Pretoria. You see, today when I came home, hallelujah, from an errand this morning, my wife told me that she had learned about the passing away, the death of three people that was in ECG Church in Pretoria. One of them is a known singer called uh, James Nee. He's a gospel artist and he's a singer in that church. So, what I want to point out now in the beginning of this video is that my wife, the woman of God in this ministry who served the Lord Jesus Christ together with me in this ministry, she told me that she had a vision. That was approximately two weeks ago. She saw a funeral setting and she saw people from ECG Church and Mary and Shepherd Bushiri. They were then dressing in uh, in uh, black, in the dark clothes, obviously. You see? so. We understood that something will take place. And like I said in the beginning, now we learn that three people have died in a car accident from that same church. You know, we have been warning. We have been made, making posts on this timeline. We have been sharing videos where we have warned ECG Church. We have warned Shepherd Bushiri, Mary Bushiri in particular, that if they don't repent from the things that they are doing. And I'm not going to talk about what you guys are doing in, in detail. I don't know everything you are doing. The Lord has revealed some things by His grace. Hallelujah. But you know, you know what you need to repent from. There are many things that you are doing in that ministry that is wrong. So, this is the reason, this is the primary reason I am coming out with this video now, is to warn you again that you should repent. Isn't it better for you to repent than to go on, to go on with what you are doing now? You see? You cannot serve God and then do wicked things. God is holy. The Lord Jesus is holy. You see? He's not compromised. He's saint. He's holy. He's perfect. You see? So we are calling you to repent. More people will pass away. And by the way, after that, uh, more people will pass away. Uh, we saw my wife out two weeks ago in that funeral setting. She told me that they will continue. They will continue with their things. They will not repent. They will continue having good times. I don't know what to call it. You see? But you have to take, pay heed to this warning. More people will pass away if you don't repent. And I want to speak to the people of that church, particularly in Pretoria, ECG Church in Pretoria, to repent, to run away if this man don't repent. You see? You, Shepherd Bushiri, you have to repent from the things you are doing. Isn't it the grace of God? Isn't it the grace of God that He called you to repent? Hallelujah! This means that you can repent, you can confess the wrongdoings, the things that you are doing that is not right, that is not in line, that is not in keeping with the Word of God, that you know that is not right, you know yourself what you are doing. Many people in this ministry working close to you know what you are doing. You see? More bad things will happen if you don't pay it, if you don't repent. The Lord has also told us, you know, in, I think it's under a year ago, the Lord was giving me and the woman of God several revelations. He was speaking to us in various ways. The Lord has said that He will take them out. I'm, I'm referring to you, to your church, one by one. Myself, I have seen, I had a vision where I, I, I heard the voice of the Lord saying that I will wipe them away, I will take them away. So, you better repent. You better confess your sin. You better turn totally away from the things you are doing now. Another thing that I want to mention and point out is that my wife, the woman of God, has been speaking to me. She has been feeling something about your two daughters, Shepherd Bushiri, Mary Bushiri. Something with the death of your two daughters. <laughs> the death of your two daughters. Hmm. <laughs> so Rafaela too is in danger. Hey God, Bushiri, you didn't heed this warning. You did not heed this warning. Hmm. Shepherd Bushiri, Mary Bushiri, 
something with the death of your two daughters. So I'm praying, we are praying that that will not take place, that that will not happen. So please repent, turn to the Lord, go on your knees, ask for forgiveness, confess the things that you have been doing. Shepherd Bouchiri, Mary Bouchiri, you see, it's better to repent, isn't it? That these things will go on. It will be much better that you will repent. So this is a warning. This is the love of Jesus Christ. You see? This is the love of Jesus Christ. You think it's family for me, you think it's easy for me, for us to come out with these videos. But it's all about the Lord. We serve the Lord. We don't serve men. You see? The Bible says if I was serving, if I was seeking to please men, I wouldn't serve God. So the Lord says something, you say it. The Lord reveals something, you you will come out with that revelation. So, pay heed, take heed to this warning and repent. In that funeral setting, she told me that they will continue. They will continue with their things. They will not repent. They will continue having good times. I don't know what to call it. You see? But you have to take, pay heed to this warning. More people will pass away if you don't repent. And I want to speak to the people of that church particularly in Pretoria, ECG Church in Pretoria, to repent, to run away if this man don't repent, you see? You, Shepherd Bushiri, you have to repent from the things you are doing. Isn't it the grace of God? Isn't it the grace of God that He called you to repent? Hallelujah! This means that you can repent, you can confess the wrongdoings, the things that you are doing that is not right, that is not in line, that is not in keeping with the Word of God, that you know that it's not right, you know yourself what you're doing. Many people in this ministry working close to you know what you're doing. You see? More bad things will happen if you don't pay it, if you don't repent. You should know that he made this video in October 2018. And he was talking about the death of Bushiri's two daughters. And now Israela is dead. Please, Bushiri, we don't want Rafaela to... As much as we don't like you, we do not like you, but we love your children your children are innocent they, they they have nothing to do with what you and your wife are doing please repent and go back to god if you have to go back to south africa to make restitution for what you've done please go back to south africa and make restitution god is angry with you god is angry with you my brother <laughs> you cannot be playing with god and think these things will not happen please and please go back to south africa make restitution and the Lord be with you. We don't want... The fact that you're a wicked person does not mean we wish death on your children. So please and please save the life of Rafaela and go back to South Africa and make restitution. Repent. You and your wife maybe. Or otherwise more things are coming. Please. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Please comment what you think in the comment section. And um, yeah, God bless you. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and laugh me. Follow um, John Joshua uh, on Instagram at John Joshua Comedy and follow us on our social media and use at Nigeria's Scriptures. Don't forget, we have our merchandise in the stores. Please go there, buy the link is in the description. Don't forget, you can be a, come our Patreon for as little as $1 as much as $1,000. The link is also in the description. Thank you guys. We love you.